Since its deployment, the James Webb Space Telescope has been unraveling the mysteries of the early universe. Among its most astonishing discoveries are mature, massive galaxies that seem far too evolved for their place in cosmic history. These galaxies, appearing fully structured at an impossibly early stage, directly challenge our fundamental understanding of how galaxies form and evolve. But what if these anomalies aren't errors in our models, but clues pointing to an entirely new perspective on reality? The key may lie in redshift, the phenomenon where light stretches as the universe expands. The farther a galaxy is, the greater its redshift, allowing astronomers to estimate its distance and age. With its unparalleled deep space vision, Webb has been pushing this concept further than ever before, peering back 13.5 billion years into the universe's 13.8 billion year history. According to the standard model, galaxies from this early epoch should be small, irregular, and chaotic. Instead, Webb has detected huge, well-formed galaxies with intricate structures, forcing scientists to reconsider the entire timeline of cosmic evolution. But the most bizarre revelation yet comes from Webb's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, which studied 263 galaxies and uncovered a striking cosmic pattern, a mysteriously synchronized galactic rotation. This unexpected alignment defies conventional cosmological models, which suggest that galaxy rotations should be randomly distributed. Instead, the findings suggest a hidden order, one that could hint at something mind-blowing. Our universe might exist inside a black hole. To grasp this possibility, we must explore black hole physics. When a massive star collapses under gravity, it forms a black hole with an event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing can escape. But what happens inside this event horizon is still one of the greatest unknowns in physics. This is where black hole cosmology, also called Schwarzschild cosmology, presents a radical idea. Our observable universe could actually be the interior of a black hole within a larger parent universe. This leads us back to the Big Bang. The standard model suggests that the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density, exactly like the center of a black hole. If our universe was born inside a black hole that formed in a larger cosmos, then the Big Bang wouldn't have been an expansion into empty space. Instead, it could have been the moment matter collapsed into a black hole, giving birth to an entirely new universe inside. JWST's discoveries are not just challenging our understanding of galaxy formation, they might be pointing to an even bigger mystery. The true nature of our universe. If this theory holds true, then every black hole in our universe could be a portal to an entirely new cosmos. This would mean that universes are constantly being created, with each black hole serving as the birthplace of a new reality. It could also help explain one of the greatest mysteries of modern physics, why the fundamental constants of our universe appear fine-tuned for life. If only black holes that give rise to stable universes persist, then the laws of physics we observe may be the result of a natural selection process across generations of universes. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence supporting this idea is black hole entropy. Black holes contain an immense amount of entropy, which directly correlates to the information content of the universe. This suggests a deeper connection between black holes and the structure of reality itself. But there's more. Torsion, a concept from einstein cartan relativity, could play a crucial role in this cosmic puzzle. Torsion refers to a twisting effect in space-time caused by the intrinsic spin of particles, and some theories propose that it could generate a repulsive force at extreme densities. This force might prevent black holes from collapsing into true singularities, instead triggering what's known as a big bounce, 
a dramatic rebound that could lead to the formation of a new universe inside the black hole's event horizon. If this is the case, then the Big Bang wasn't a singularity erupting from nothing. Instead, it may have been a cosmic rebirth, a rebound from the core of a collapsing black hole in a larger parent universe. This idea reshapes the origin of our universe, turning it into part of an ongoing, self-replicating, multiversal cycle. Even more mind-boggling is the idea that the universe may have a preferred axis. Observations of large-scale cosmic structures suggest that galaxies aren't randomly scattered as expected, but may follow a subtle alignment. This cosmic anisotropy defies the cosmological principle, which assumes that the universe is uniform in all directions. If a hidden directionality exists, it could mean that unknown physics, possibly linked to our universe's formation inside a black hole, is at play on the largest cosmic scales. And then there's the enigma of massive primordial galaxies. Their existence so early in cosmic history doesn't just challenge our models of galaxy formation, it may force us to rethink everything we know about cosmic evolution. But could there be a simpler explanation? Perhaps some fundamental measurements are wrong, like the rate at which the Milky Way rotates. If so, our entire understanding of cosmic timescales might need a serious recalibration. Whether our universe is inside a black hole, or we're simply misinterpreting cosmic clues, one thing is certain, Webb is rewriting the story of the cosmos, and we're only just beginning to understand its revelations. What if the universe is far older than we think? Every new discovery seems to challenge our understanding of cosmic history, and now these uneven galactic rotations are forcing astrophysicists to rethink fundamental assumptions about the universe. Could we really be inside a black hole? Or is something even more bizarre going on? Here's where things take a wild turn. Another recent research paper suggests that our universe has a twin, a mirror universe where time runs backwards. Imagine an entire cosmos existing in reverse, where everything from galaxies to life itself moves in the opposite direction. If you haven't heard about this yet, make sure to check out that video after this one. But let's take a step back and talk about Occam's razor, the idea that the simplest explanation is usually the correct one. In science, when astronomers observe unexplained phenomena, they don't immediately jump to the most extreme conclusions. Instead of assuming an alien civilization, they first consider natural explanations, like atmospheric effects. Now, why does Occam's razor matter here? Many inflation models predict that the rapid expansion of the early universe should have left behind long, wavelength gravitational waves, ripples in space-time that could confirm inflation theory. But here's the problem. Despite years of searching, scientists have found no evidence of these primordial waves. Sure, we've detected gravitational waves from merging black holes and neutron stars, but the inflation-driven ripples that should have shaped the early universe? Nothing. And with each failed experiment, more inflation models get ruled out. While inflation theory helps explain the universe's large-scale uniformity, it also raises big questions, like what energy field actually powered inflation in the first place? If inflation requires the universe to start with extremely specific initial conditions, then we have to ask, why were those conditions present to begin with? Some models suggest an infinite multiverse of bubble universes, but that raises philosophical and scientific issues. Is this even testable? Or are we just stacking complex ideas on top of each other without real proof? That's exactly what Neil Turok, the Higgs Chair of Theoretical Physics, set out to challenge. Along with his colleague Latham Boyle, Turok explored a radical new model that could answer fundamental cosmic questions without relying on traditional inflation theory or string theory. Their approach takes Einstein's general relativity and rewinds the universe backward through time. 
If we follow this process far enough, we reach a point where space and time collapse to a single point, a concept known as the initial singularity. But what if the Big Bang wasn't just a beginning, but a boundary between two universes? Could time itself have split, creating two mirrored realities, one moving forward and the other moving backward? The deeper we dive, the stranger the universe becomes. Whether it's black holes creating new universes, cosmic inflation breaking down, or time itself running in reverse, one thing is certain, we are just scratching the surface of the greatest mysteries in the cosmos. To unravel the mysteries of the hot, dense state at the dawn of the universe, physicists like Nobel laureate Roger Penrose identified a fundamental symmetry in the laws of light and massless particles. This concept, known as conformal symmetry, suggests that light and massless particles do not experience space shrinking during the Big Bang, allowing them to escape the extreme conditions that influence other forms of matter. Imagine a stretchy rubber sheet with a design on it. Pulling or compressing the sheet may change its size, but the shapes remain unchanged. Conformal symmetry suggests the universe behaves in a similar way, meaning its smoothness and uniformity may not require an explosive inflation event, but could instead emerge naturally from this symmetry. Taking this idea further, some physicists propose that the initial singularity wasn't a one-way origin, but rather a mirror in time. On one side, time flows forward, while on the other, time flows backward a perfect cosmic reflection. This idea fits with CPT symmetry, a fundamental principle in physics, stating that all processes have a mirror counterpart where space, time, and particles are reversed. Imagine the universe as a grand cosmic stage where particles follow three fundamental rules. Charge, replacing matter with antimatter, parity, flipping everything like a mirror image, and time, reversing the sequence of events. If all three are reversed simultaneously, the laws of physics remain unchanged, a perfect balance. However, our observable universe seems to violate CPT symmetry because particles outnumber antiparticles and time only moves forward. This is where the mirror universe theory comes into play. It suggests that on the other side of the Big Bang, a twin universe exists where time moves in reverse and antimatter dominates instead of regular matter. From our perspective, this reversed cosmos would look as though time is rewinding, but for an observer within it, everything would feel completely normal. If this theory is correct, it could provide answers to some of the biggest questions in physics, from the mystery of time's direction to the imbalance of matter and antimatter. Could it be that our reality is just one half of a perfectly symmetrical cosmic dance? If so, the deeper we explore the universe, the closer we may come to discovering our mirror twin on the other side of time itself. This parallel universe doesn't have to be a real place. It could simply be a mathematical framework that restores symmetry to the universe's origin. But here's where it gets even more interesting. This theory could also explain dark matter. In our universe, neutrinos, tiny, nearly massless particles that move close to the speed of light, are left-handed. However, their right-handed counterparts, predicted to be stable and heavy, could be the missing dark matter. These right-handed neutrinos interact only through gravity, making them undetectable by conventional means. Using their mirror universe hypothesis, Turok and Boyle calculated that if dark matter is composed of these heavy right-handed neutrinos, then at least one of the three types of known neutrinos must have zero mass. This is a testable prediction, and researchers are now examining the distribution of galaxies to determine whether this theory holds up. By studying how cosmic structures form and clump together, scientists could uncover evidence about neutrino mass, offering potential proof or disproof of this dark matter explanation. 
but there's more. This theory also offers a radical explanation for why the universe looks so flat and uniform on large scales. Traditionally, inflation theory is used to explain this, but Turok's team found a different approach, entropy. Entropy describes how likely a certain configuration of the universe is, and they found that a flat, rapidly expanding universe with a small, positive acceleration is actually the most probable state. Instead of needing an inflationary expansion, the universe may have naturally evolved this way due to quantum fields at play during the early cosmos. Of course, more research is needed to determine if this theory truly holds up. But as Turok wrote in the Annals of Physics, picturing the Big Bang as a mirror event neatly resolves many contradictions in modern physics. He argues that the standard model, while successful, has become a restrictive framework and we may need to break free from it. Even if this theory turns out to be wrong, it forces us to consider simpler alternatives to the complex web of inflation, dark matter, and cosmology that currently dominates astrophysics. So what do you think? Could our universe have a mirror twin, or is there another, simpler explanation? Drop your thoughts in the comments.